Back in 1998, I had a paint shop in Naples and the business was thriving. Then one day we had a visit from a member of the Camorra. They started by asking for a free kilo of paint and we gave it to them. It's always better not to mess with these people, but they came back for more. First it was two kilos, then three. Then they put a gun on the counter and demanded to exchange their dodgy checks with cash along with thousands of euros. That's when we started to say no. We were making up excuses not to pay up as these people are very dangerous, but it wasn't long before they started threatening us. They told us they'd shoot us and that they would cut my husband in pieces. They pointed a gun to his face and asked again for money. Then one night they set fire to our shop. We were shocked. They could attack us any time in the streets or our home, but we never thought they would be mad enough to set fire to the shop. It was under a seven-story building. They could have killed hundreds of people that night. But when we got there, those people weren't angry with the Comora. They were angry with us. You should have paid them, they kept saying. Look at what they've done. That's when we decided to go to the police. At first it felt liberating, but then I started to pay the price for it. People stayed away from me. They were convinced the Comora would shoot me and didn't want to be in the way. In fact, one day I was followed by two armed men on a motorbike and I was given police protection, which still follows me everywhere I go. There was a void around me. Even my brothers and sisters abandoned me. They were afraid of visiting me at home. You know, I spoke out against one of the bloodiest and violent mafia clans. But then on the first day of the trial, buses full of people came to support me. They gave me courage to carry on. People finally understood that the Camorra went beyond the limit. Before me, only 10 people reported them to police. Now thousands are following my example. But these are difficult time for businesses. There is no liquidity around, and when people asking for a loan are refused by banks, they are tempted to ask the Camorra for money. But if they can't keep up with the high interest they charge, they end up paying them back by giving them their businesses. But I never thought of leaving Naples. After my persecutors were jailed, I was offered to leave and get a new identity away from here. But if the Mafia wants to find you, they will find you. If I left, I would have run forever looking constantly behind my back and I hope that by staying here people will say if Silvana did it so can I.